Hi guys, Glam by Nicole's Eyes back with another video and this is my Alice in Wonder pan. Um let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September. I think this is my update number six on Alice in Wonder pan because it goes or seven. I think it's six. Because it goes through March and ends March 2023, but, um, for my first product, Alice, a childlike product scent flavor packaging, I chose my Katy Perry, um, Mad Potion Body Spray. I've used this guy, uh, for nine times in the last month and it still has not moved from the black lines <laughs> and I've used it nine times in the past month I've used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 times since the project started but I used it nine times in the past month Mad Hatter a product that drives you insane. A product that drives me insane is this LA Colors Highlighter in Shine Bright. I'm wearing it tonight, today. Tonight. Mm -mm. It looks like that. I have not hit pan, but you can see you can see through it to where I'm going to hit pan soon. <laughs> Even if it's baby pan because you can see the you can see the lines of the pan through the powder. And I've used this guy five, six, seven times in the last month. But I've used it ten, five, ten. 12 times since this project started. Queen of Hearts, product that donates, that dominates your collection, your favorite lip product. And this is Maybelline Pink Sand. It's a color sensational lipstick. It's one of my favorites from Maybelline. I've gone through one of these. <laughs> After a while, this is my second one, and I've used it five nine times in the last month, but I've used it five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight times since this project started, but I've used it nine times in the last month. So that's where it's at. This part's getting ready to go flat. So that is that guy. Blue Caterpillar, a minimizing pore filling primer, hair growth oil, etc. I chose my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. This guy is dark and I can't really mark where I'm at. This part is mostly air, but it's still pretty full. I used it seven times in the last month, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 times since this project started, but only seven times in the last month. White Rabbit got rolled out. It was my Obsessions perfume. Couldn't find a new spray nozzle, so I had to throw it away. So that's an empty. Who are you? Product you have no idea where it came from. Or where you got it. This Carmex lip balm. I found it in my stuff. Don't know where it came from. Don't know where I got it from, but it was brand new. Now it's down to that second line right there, and then all of this is just air. So, yeah, that's how I know where I'm at on this guy.
Next page, Curiouser plus Curiouser, a product that you use from a proposed for from a proposed other than for a purpose other than what it was intended for. I would I use this typically for a scalp solution because I have a scalp condition, but I've been using it to repress makeup. I've only used it two two times in the last month, but only five, six, seven times since the project started. Painting the roses red. My pampered LA girl um, nail polish. It also has highlighter powder in it. I used it a total of five five times in the last month, but 15 times since the project started. And I'm right there where my fingernail is, like I'm a quarter of the way through the bottle. Okay. Why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast? A product with an impossible goal. That would have to be my Cody Airspun Loose trans Translucent Powder. I used it nine, nine times in the last month. But, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 times since the project started. And there's still quite a bit of product in there. twiddle dee, -dee twiddle dee dum A product you have a duplicate or back above. The Milani Conceal and Perfect. And it's actually a Franken foundation. I don't have much left as you guys can see. Thank goodness. It has a concealer in it. It has the Milani foundation in it. It has Studio Fix makeup in it. And LA Colors foundation. And it's all mixed. I used it. 11 times in the last month, but since the project started, I've used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 times since the project started, and 11 times in the last month. Cheshire Cat, a lip product. And I chose the LA Colors Bubblegum Lipstick. I used it 7 times in the last month, and it looks like this. I used it seven times in the last month, but since the project started, I used it 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 times. Army of Cards, a product that never lets me down. Salon Selective Shampoo and Conditioner. There are some of my favorites out of the Dollar Tree. I used it... Seven times in the last month, but since the project started, I used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 times. Jab, jabber, jabber Walkie, a product from a brand you no longer buy from. Person, no longer support, that's empty. I rolled in makeup wipes, they're gone, so it's an empty to me. White Queen, a product that makes you feel mature, posed, elegant. A white highlighter, and I chose the one from the Moonchild Anastasia Beverly Hills kit in blue ice. It looks white in the thing, but when you put it on your face, it has a blue tint to it. Have not hit Pam, but I have lots of progress on this guy. And I've used it 15 times in the last month. Oh no, that's not it. I used it 6 times in the last month, but only 11 times since the project started. It's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. 
a product you want to repurchase when finished with it. And it was retinol makeup wipes that are really good, but they emptied and I rolled in this Color Mates brow kit. I really enjoy this one. I got a I've got a a little dip going on the top and then on the bottom I have a bigger dip as you guys can see a bigger crater because the bottom reminds me of my Auburn brows more I used it 20 times in the last month but 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 times since I put it in this project We're all mad here. A product that drives another panner crazy. A shout out to that panner. Um, that would be the LA Colors eyeliner. And I don't have another panner that it drives crazy. So I just rolled it in on myself. I used it seven times in the last month, but used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27 times since the project started. Why is a raven like a writing disc? A gimme product, and I chose the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper, which would be this guy right here. It's a brow mascara. I used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 times in the last month, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86 times since this project started and it's still going strong. So that's that guy. Not all who wonder are lost. A product you discovered by accident or wandered upon randomly. And I chose City of Colors Matte Lipstick Peach Poppy. It's like a bright peachy coral. And it's matte, but it's a very comfortable matte. And I saw that. It was a pretty color. I've never seen City Colors in Dollar Tree before, so I picked it up. I used it eight times in the last month, but 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 times since the project started. Every adventure requires a first step, a product that is out of your comfort zone and I chose the wet n wild lipstick in hazardous red it looks like this I'm not gonna swatch it cuz I'm sure you guys have seen it in my pan me a story Watson but is it's between a true red and a vampy red and I really like it I'm wearing it today as you guys can plainly see it is a matte but to me it's kind of comfortable matte like peach poppy. I used it eight times in the last month and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 times since the project started. So that is my Alice in Wonder Pan update number six. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh -huh.